Aggregate and quarry industry is the foundation of New Zealand communities. Every individual in New Zealand uses 10 tonnes per annum, or the equivalent of one truckload of aggregate every year. Basically any bit of infrastructure that you see around, whether it's a small building or a huge building, it'll have some sort of aggregate, so it'll be definitely come from a quarry. So aggregates make up about 75 to 90 per cent of our roads and infrastructure. I definitely feel um, quite privileged to be working on the Huntley Bypass. Um, I'll be connecting families, getting them to see each other faster and hopefully safer. In quarries, you know, we drill and brast the rock from the pit and then we send in excavators and trucks to extract that uh, broken material. We send that up to the crushing plant where we then break it down further to uh, very tight specifications where we can then turn aggregate into things like concrete for schools and hospitals, uh, even sealing ship for highways. So if you've been on any roads, through any tunnels, over any bridges, living in any buildings, um, there's aggregates in there. A lot of people probably don't realise that the aggregates and stuff going into their concrete for their foundation come straight from the quarry. Having quarries closer to the job sites is definitely a big factor, especially when it comes to cost. The further away the quarry is, the higher the cost that the consumer has to pay will be. So the stuff that's quarried here really stays here and the community that it comes from, they get the full benefit. You've got to strip the overburden to get to the rock, but as you develop in years, you put back what you've taken. So as you're mining, you can rehabilitate at the same time, replanting uh, young trees. The environmental side is, is very important, it's part of our day-to-day -day works. Um, we don't put that to the side, if anything it goes above production. There's a whole bunch of things that go into, um, into running a quarry to make it sustainable that a lot of people don't see. Many of the things that we do here are of course related to the environment. So um, we've got health and safety monitoring, stack emission monitoring, um, and we do a lot of water sampling. We actually have dust monitors all around our border that are constantly being monitored and if we've got too much dust we do actually shut down. Our loaders run on biodiesel which we create in our greenfields facility. There are no machines running when they don't need to be run. Most people who drive past won't even realise that there's a quarry here. But we're always conscious of the neighbours and the surroundings. Our new conveyor that we've put in that carts aggregate over to our side of the plant is run on electricity not diesel and that's about 700 metres long. Uh, so we do our utmost best every day to make sure we are giving back to the environment and the community so that future generations, you know, in 100 years time, this quarry can still be going, providing aggregate for the local communities and the wider communities. Fulton Hogan want to be the best. I've been to those, to those seminars and those meetings where you can see that they're thinking head and head and head, and it's really neat to see. It's really cool to see that and, and be a part of it as well. The people that are perfect for quarries are ones that are willing to learn, try new things, you know, work hard. Uh, quarry work has so many things involved in it. So machine operating, plant operating, driving, um, planning, management. There's so much to do in a quarry and you never know, you might find your place here. I've found that Fulton Hogan have invested in me um, they've invested in my well-being, they've invested in um, my future, my career. They put that effort into every other teammate and crew member that I've had and, and will continue to have. We're really focused on, you know, creating a nice safe environment for people to work in. Um, you know, the combination of health monitoring of the individuals as well as the work that we're doing in the field, I think is going to put them in a, in a safe spot, um, keep us well um, ahead of um, where we need to be because you don't want to be reactionary, you want to be, you know, um, well ahead of the play. Yeah, what I like about it is that it's all outside. You're not stuck behind a desk and it's something different every day. Like I said, I started on a, on a machine and then I figured out I actually really enjoyed the blasting and I really enjoyed um, just the entire works, how everything kind of knitted together. The range of things you can learn is phenomenal. I'm still new to it, but it's, you learn something new every day with the mobile plants and yeah, it's something different. If you decide that's a goal you want or that's the area you want to go in, um, I've found that Fort Morgan's very good at following up with that and helping you reach those goals. There's just so many different aspects to follow in quarrying. Probably all I'd say is go for it.